Hey guys, Doug B here. Now in case you missed it, last week I did a video showing you how to use global custom scales. That's done in the pitch block using the custom shifter. There's 16 different types in the pitch block and this week I thought we'd go right to the top of the list with the advanced whammy. Let's listen to a little sample of what you can do with the advanced whammy type and an expression pedal. The Digitech Whammy is a pitch shifter pedal manufactured by Digitech. It was the first widely used effects pedal that could do foot control pitch shifting effects. The pedal emulates sounds that a guitarist normally makes using either, you want to call it the vibrato bar, or the trem bar, or the whammy bar on the guitar. But with a greatly enhanced pitch range and without tuning hassles associated with traditional vibrato bars. Its users include Ed O'Brien and Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead, Matt Bellamy of Muse, Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave, and David Gilmore of Pink Floyd. Whammy pedals first started showing up in 1989. The lead guitarist in my old reggae band had one in the early 90s. Right now Digitech is on the fifth generation of this pedal, which came out in 2012. There are numerous Digitech Whammy pedals currently available, ranging in price from $214.99 to $399.99. Let's go into Axe Edit and create a new preset that highlights the whammy pedal. We'll use all four channels of the pitch block to make four different scenes with different whammy parameters. We could get a little more elaborate and create a parallel path that would include the second pitch block so you could create eight scenes with different whammy pedal settings, but let's just keep it simple and just use four scenes for right now. Now before we get started, you have to have an expression pedal connected to either your FX3 or FC controller, and it has to be calibrated. I'll put a link at the end of this video that shows you how to connect and calibrate your expression pedal in 5 minutes. Now creating a new preset in Axe Edit is easy. First of all you either find or create an empty preset. Now you can do that you know, by clicking on presets here and looking through here and just picking one where you want to make an empty one. I chose 418. Now you click on quick build and there's all the blocks that you need. So we'll drag in one to the first block on the second line. We'll drag out one to the last block on that line. Now click on the input jack here for the out one. Click on the output jack for in one, and they are now connected. Now we drag pitch one, drive one, amp one, cab one, delay one, and reverb one. Now you want to click up here on scene manager. You want to make sure that all the channels are set to A for the first four scenes. Now the blocks I'm using are amp one, cab one, drive one, and delay one. And see, all of them are set to A. Now this step isn't necessary, but it does speed up scene building. Now you click on Scene Manager again to exit, type in your preset name. I used Whammy Jammy. I hit Enter. Now I hit Save to save this preset. And now we'll set up each block. The pitch block will use all four channels, but it's really easy to set up. Now you click on the pitch block and go down here to type and select Advanced Whammy. And you do that for all four channels. So there it is for channel A, channel B, channel C, and channel D. Now we go back to channel A. Now the start and the stop parameters are the semitone adjustments that you can make. You can go all the way down to negative 24 and all the way up to 24. So the first one we're gonna set start to zero and stop is gonna be on number 12. Now we have to right click on control here and that brings up the edit modifier panel. Over here where it says source one, click where it says none, change that to external one. Now go down here to where it says auto engage, click on that, change it to MED SPD. Now you close the edit modifier panel by clicking on the X up here in the right hand corner. So now we have connected the expression pedal to this preset. Okay, now let's go to channel B. We're gonna set start to zero and stop to two. Go to channel C, set start to zero, and set stop to negative one. Now go to channel D, set start to negative two, and stop to zero. Now click on channel A, and you're done with the pitch block. 
The drive block, we are going to use the Esoteric RCB in channel A and change treble to 4.88 dB. Now the amp block, we are going to use the Car Roamer in channel A, set the bass to 3.66, mids to 5.40, and treble to 8.89. Cab block, get on the picker, go all the way to the end to the Legacy Bank. We're going to choose Legacy number 36, a 4x12 basket weave G12M20. Delay block, choose the Zephyr type in channel A and just leave it at the default settings. Reverb block, choose the studio type in channel A and use the default settings. Okay, now we're going to set up the scenes. All scenes will have all blocks active. The only difference in the scenes is the channel being used in the pitch block. So for scene one, we're using channel A. For scene two, we're using channel B. For scene three, we're using channel C. And for scene four, we're using channel D. Okay, finally, let's name our scenes. Scene one is zero to 12. You know, the classic whammy setup. It will bend up 12 semitones. Scene two is zero to two, which bends up two steps. Scene three is zero to negative one, which bends down one step. Scene four is negative two to zero, which immediately bends down two steps and then comes back up. I'll demo each scene and I'll list the names on screen. Well, there you have it, guys. Setting up a classic whammy pedal. Pretty easy, right? And you can also add another pitch block for harmonies, making this pedal all that much more like that Digitech whammy, except without the expense and taking up all that pedal board space. I mean, that's a big pedal. And of course, the Fractal version offers a lot more flexibility, you know? All right, now, guys, next Wednesday, we're going to be looking at another preset of the week. You don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you next week.